Hey there, in this video we are going to learn how to install Composer and the Laravel installer on your machine. So let's go ahead and get started. If you go to getcomposer.org you should see a getting started button. You can go ahead and click on that and then you will also see a globally how to install. You can also search for globally but I will go ahead and click on this global button and will take us to the install instructions. So I can go ahead and copy and paste this into my terminal window and this first command is downloading the composer executable and downloading it to my machine. The next step is moving this to our user local bin directory and this will make composer globally accessible which means that I can type in composer and it will show me a list of all the commands that I have available anytime I open up terminal. I can also type in composer dash dash version and it will show the current version that I have installed on my machine. So that's simple enough to get composer installed. The next step is to install the Laravel installer. So if I go to laravel.com, click on the documentation button and I scroll down to the installation, we have installing via the Laravel installer. And sure enough it is a composer command. I can copy and paste this into my terminal. And after it downloads, I should have the Laravel command available on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my sites folder. And I should be able to write in Laravel new, say, blog. And then it should create a new blog folder and add a new Laravel install to that folder. But as you can see, my machine doesn't recognize the command Laravel. So what I need to do is I need to add the composer vendor bin directory to my ZSHRC or my bash profile. Uh, you could go ahead and Google how you do this if you're on a Windows, but for a Mac if you're on bash you will add this to your bash profile. If you are using a Z shell you will add this to your ZSHRC. So I'm going to go ahead and vim into my ZSHRC file and at the very bottom I have this commented out but it's basically exporting a path to our composer vendor bin directory and I will post this command below the video. So if you simply add this and then you save that you'll probably need to close out of your terminal window for that to take effect and we'll open it back up and go back to our sites folder and let's go ahead and type in Laravel new application and just like that you can see that we have created a new Laravel application inside of the application folder so now if I go into the application folder and I'm gonna go ahead and type in PHP artisan serve and it will have a development version on my localhost 8000. So if I go to localhost 8000 then sure enough I have a Laravel installation in that directory. So you can see just how quick and easy it is to set up a new Laravel application using the Laravel installer.